case everything we wanted. That's not, that is not the case. You asked the hard questions that made us think deeper about those bigger projects that we were attempting. And I greatly appreciate the cooperation that this council has given myself, my administration, and our department. And I very much appreciate and thank everything that you've done for us. I've known this lady for a long time. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, buddy. Enjoy. Thank you, Chief. I think we in turn owe him a great deal of gratitude, too. That fire department move was major, and it's something, the building is very well done, and it's attractive. I think it's serviceable. It's all of the things that a lot of planning went into, and you implemented a lot of those decisions, and we owe you as well, so thank you. Thank you. Next up is Superintendent Lyons. Yes, thank you. The Walsing Path, I apologize for my work for it, but I'm on vacation, so I'm working on a whole lot of work on there, even though I barely remember. We've got the 2019 and the 2020 saw numbers. It's in the barn. The walking path, the contract is in. That's completed. It's still in the seat, if you will. We have to break down and install. No more light has to be back in the spring. Seeds, obviously, we don't want the seed to germinate, and then it's not going to die down, but they'll come back in the spring and we'll see. Let's see. We installed a salt spreader. We did have to use salt once a year this year. There's one small storm that may end up turning into a little bit of ice. And then we're finishing up the leaves and herb leaves this week. I hope we have more done by the end of the week. All the leaves picked up, and the herb leaves will get picked up from this time on. There's been a lot of leaves this year. Way a lot. We're going to get them up. We're still at it, so it's hit and miss now, so we should be quite dry here. I was afraid they'd all gone blown away. Yeah, it would have been nice, too. We'd be right here. We'd have two fences. Well, we appreciate it for all the work. Don't get it back up. Any questions for Superintendent Lyons? Thank you, sir. Superintendent Lyons? Again, we pumped $29,261,000 last month. We did win our eyes from the well buildings. We did our leaders were working. Again, thanks, because we directed the new water tower out there. That was a shock treatment. Getting it prepped up. The plan is to be done by Christmas. It probably won't be painted because of the weather, but we're confident it'll be done by Christmas. Bowen installed the gates out of Well 7. Came with the golf course. Did some seating and stuff. That will be back in the spring to redo those things. The booster station, the trusses have been installed. Shingles are on. Some of the doors are in. They're trying to get it weatherproof so they can get some heat in there for the painters and electricians and everything else. Moving right along. Any questions for Superintendent Lyons? What was the seminar in Rossville? Mr. Brown said when I attended one for health and safety. Confined space. Confined space. Any further questions? Thank you, sir. Superintendent Benson? Yeah, you got my report late. I apologize for that. Flow Technologies assisted us with a pump issue. For those that weren't here for the Board of Works meeting, we found a piece of metal. We don't know where it came from, but it was in the pump and the piping. They got it out and everything's back to normal. Houston Electric is going to have our aerator VFDs online. Hopefully both of them by Wednesday. Merrill Brothers is hauling liquid sludge again. 
Myosolids. And the making of these. And the phosphorus project is almost done. There's probably four or five things on the punch list that haven't been done yet. The third pay estimate has been paid out. Uh, retainage, we'll, we'll hold on to the retainage until the punch list is complete. <coughs> to our satisfaction, then uh, we'll release the retainage. But we've been using the building for a month. Uh, everything's working the way it's supposed to be working. Any questions? Business. So this is the third and final reading of proposed ordinance 2019-10, written by Tom Malone. An ordinance approving, adopting, and authorizing a change in the schedule of rates and charges of the City of Delphi in the annual municipal water utility. John D. Lindy, uh, No additional comments. Be happy to answer any questions associated with our recommendation that's reflected in the ordinance. Thank you. Is there any further discussion of proposed ordinance 2019-10? <coughs> Thank you guys right here for 
educated me on what they do. Mm -hmm. Same way with Mr. Stewart back there, our fire chief, for educating me on what they do. Because I have never worked in politics before, but I'm thankful that I had the and receive the education that I have received. I'm thankful that we were able to do something with Mr. Garrison, Mrs. Stewart, Mr. Pearson. We were able to put this building together. Uh, hopefully, uh, it'll last a very, very long time, and a lot of people will get to enjoy it long after we're gone. Thank you very much for letting me serve you, too. Councilman Trigger? <clears throat> yes, uh, I, I would like to thank everybody uh, for attempting to work together. We uh, worked for some really serious issues, and, and we got them done. Uh, I'd like to say to Chief Starrett that uh, I know when the fire department wanted to build, there was a little bit of negativity, but I thought uh, for downtown, you ended up with a wonderful building. We talked about that. Yeah. Not just putting a regular old building, but making it look nice. And I think you did a tremendous job, so I, I really do appreciate that. Um, I think Delphi's heading in the right way. Uh, just continue. I enjoyed our 14 years living here, and uh, we'll be back in visit. So uh, I just uh, hope Delphi keeps moving forward. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Garrison. Yeah, of course, thank everybody for all the years. Uh, this has been 12 for me. Uh, it's been a great experience with all of you. Uh, I've learned a lot, we've been through a lot. I've ruffled feathers and I've unruffled feathers. Uh, I've worked hard to try to do what I thought was right for our city and I hope it continues. I want to thank all the council members. It's been a joy to work with you, against you, and together. So, thank you all. Thank you, Councilman. Thank you, Councilman. Yes, I've learned a lot as well, and, and it's been a pleasure to work with quality people, and, and, and uh, I think we have accomplished some good things. Uh, everybody's kind of learned along the way, and, and I appreciate the opportunity to serve. And wish the new council lots of uh, luck. I would be willing to help uh, in any way helping them to understand what the process is and the responsibilities are. I mean, it's really huge uh, of realizing that you are the representative for the citizens of the community um, and, and the taxpayers. And, and keep that in mind because it's, it's a pretty um, uh, huge job. And uh, so, anyway, uh, thank you all. Yes, mine has been a long tenure here. <laughs> People will probably say, when is she going to hang this up? <laughs> so I am. <laughs> All right, well, let's move forward to resolution 2019-11. So the resolution recognizing Councilman Michael Shockley for his four years of service to the city of Delphi. Is there a motion to approve this resolution? No motion. Is there a second? All those in favor? All right. Those? Motion carries. Not a lot of time. <coughs> no vote <bullet> on <laughs> <laughs> we'll Move next to uh, resolution 2019-12, recognizing President Pro Tem Dale Seward. Is there a motion to approve this resolution? So moved. 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 Next, we'll move to resolution 2019-13, recognizing Councilman Richard Trager for his eight years of service on the City Council for the City of Delphi. Is there a motion for passage of this resolution? So moved. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Next, to resolution 2019-14, recognizing Councilman Brian Garrison for his 12 years of service on the Council. Is there a motion for approval of this resolution? So moved. 
Second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And then we'll move next to resolution 2019-15, recognizing Councilwoman Carolyn Pearson for her <laughs> for her eight terms. How does that sound? Sounds good. Of service on the Delphi City Council. Is there a motion for passage of this resolution? So moved. Second. Okay. I'll just say everybody else. There you go. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Next to council comments and requests. Do we have anything? Uh, public comment? And there's one last motion to be made. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. It is 621. <laughs> Yes. 